guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi Bike Crown so we're going to be checking out this video together titled don't ever write Isha Allah by Muftik Mek let's watch guys assalamu alaikum each time I write Insha Allah in English people comment saying you must separate these three words in Sha Allah and you must not write it together because it has a bad meaning it means create Allah and someone said this and someone said that and it's wrong and you cannot okay let me explain it's not like we don't know how to spell it if you are writing insha Allah which means if Allah wills okay mm. in the Arabic language if you're writing it in the Arabic language the correct way of writing it is three separate words in sha a Allah so in sha a Allah and when you're saying it you say in sha Allah okay so I'm writing it in the Arabic language the correct way of writing it is three separate words mm. in sha Allah in the Arabic language in any other language if I am saying if Allah wills in English I should write I F space A double L A H space W I L L S that's if Allah wills those are three separate words but if I am doing what is known as a transliteration which means it's Arabic but I'm just writing it in another language for people to read it I can write it anyhow anyhow completely for as long as it is uh, readable to the people legible they can see it they can read it if you look at you know the Malay language they write in Sia Allah the S Y A they pronounce it they pronounce the S Y the way we pronounce S H so they can write it how they want for as long as when people read it they read it Insha Allah mm. because a transliteration means nothing it just it is only making you read something for example I, I write Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim how should you write it come on don't get into such a silly argument you can write B I S M you don't need to write B space I S M space A L L A H space you just write B I S M I L L A H Bismillah it's okay you don't need to separate it because it's just a translation sorry a transliteration but if you are writing it in the Arabic language you will need to write the Basin Mim space Allah space Ar Rahman space Ar Rahim because that's the Arabic and that's how it should be written okay so I hope we don't argue with each other whenever you see it in the English language please write it how you wish for as long as it's closest to what is readable for as long as it's closest to what you can actually you know pronounce in the correct way some people write i n s y a l l a h because they speak malay that's fine you know others might say why did you put a y because that's how they pronounce it you know i came across the name khadija in turkish some people spell it h a t i c e i would say hatis for that no it's actually khadija in Turkish that's the way they write it so what subhanallah let them write it that way there is no one correct way of writing things when people ask me what's the best way to write this name I want to name my child so I would give them what I think is the best but that's not what the whole world thinks is the best but in the Arabic language there's only one way of doing it because it's an Arabic name or an Arabic word or an Arabic sentence so now people say well if you write it all in one then it has a meaning create Allah you know that's wrong it doesn't have a meaning create Allah no it doesn't mm. because inshallah means if Allah wills inshallah we all say it together inshallah inshallah but we know in the Arabic it's three separate words if Allah wills right how do you say create Allah Astaghfirullah. you would say in she in she in she is the Amr it is the instruction right the command in she means to create no one says in she Allah they say inshallah okay. that's what it is so I think we needed to correct this but if you disagree with me no problem this is what I know and I will stick by it unless you've proven me wrong subhanallah uh, as far as I know 
you know, when it comes to sarf in the Arabic language, if you know a little bit of Arabic, it comes from ansha ayunshi'u, and the amr is inshi. Thank you very much. It's not insha. Okay? So may Allah make it easy for all of us. I think we should stop arguing about these things. Mm. And please, if you're writing it in Arabic, try and write it three separate words. And if you've written insha'a in one and Allah the next, although it's a mistake, but everyone knows what it means. It, linguistically, it may be wrong, but it's not like kufr or something. Okay? Uh, scholars have spoken about it to say if someone writes it this way, well, it's, no, uh, it's, it's not kufr and it's not something that's a serious blunder, a major sin or something. It's not even a minor sin. It's just, it's just not the best way or the most correct way of writing it from the rules of the Arabic language. But... If you are writing it in another language, transliterating it from the Arabic, please write it however you feel uh, it would be uh, readable uh, most accurately. May Allah make it easy. I spell it one word. I-N-S-H-A and then a capital A-L-L-A-H all in one. So insha Allah. That's how I write it. And I know it means if Allah wills. May Allah bless you all. I hope we've nailed it. A little nail on the coffin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. I remember yesterday saying we don't use coffins, we use kafin. So inshallah, I hope we've enshrouded this matter in a beautiful way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh wow, now I know the meaning of inshallah. Well, I have one neighbor of mine. Anytime I go out to fetch some water at the tap, no. She's a Muslim. After we are done fetching water or she's done, I'll tell her, oh, tomorrow, we'll see tomorrow. She will not respond with Inshallah. And I'll be like, what's the meaning of Inshallah? Is it? If I was thinking the meaning of Inshallah means the way Christian will say, by God's grace. Any small thing will say, by God's grace. I was thinking she will say, oh, by God's grace, we will see tomorrow. I never knew that the meaning of Inshallah was if Allah will okay like now the man has explained that if you say is she i think some people it depends on how you pronounce it though is your pronunciation that matter and you know like he also said he said spelling doesn't really matter but is that inshallah means great but inshallah means if god wills but wow this is amazing at least i've learned something because i always hear people say inshallah inshallah but i never know the meaning of it and wow Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more, like, share and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed.